Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Odara Annie. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you're returning, welcome back. So today we're gonna be installing these locks that I made. This is a softer, calmer, more like majestic looking version of Tiana Taylor locks. I liked like the texture that I used with those locks, but I definitely love the curls that I used in these locks. So I'm gonna show you guys how I install it. And at the end of this video, I will talk more in detail about these locks and where you can purchase them and, you know, how to purchase them, what they include when you purchase them, everything about these locks more towards the end of the video. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys how I install them. Okay, so what I'm doing first is I'm pre-parting the sections and I have a lot of pre-parting videos out there already that's in a lot more detail. This one's going to be more focused on the, more, the installing process. So all I'm doing here is... Um, pre-parting my parts parting them again and then braiding in the lock i'll show you guys a slower version of that later on but for this for this client and the shape of her head she had three rows in that line below her ear and then she'll have five rows in the front if we're going from ear to above and you guys will see that later and this is me just stopping real quick to show you guys the locks. Honestly, this is my first time installing these locks on anybody. Like, she was the first person to get these locks installed, which is why, like, I don't know. I'm looking at them. I love them. Um, I was really excited to do her hair. So, um, yeah, these are the first three locks, and we're going to install the rest of them on her head. And here I'm pre-parting the rest of her head. I already have a pre-parting video out um, and you guys can find that, how to part medium knotless braids. It's the same way I part for these, um, these braids. And like I said before, um, different from that video and this video, her head shape is different. Uh, below her ear, I didn't wanna put two rows because I felt those would be too big of parts. That's why she has three rows, as you can tell, one, two, three. Below the line I made from ear to ear and from the front you will see that i have five rows um, above the line from ear to ear but this is me showing you guys how i part each section and how i braid in the lock so all i do is i comb it through add some gel comb it through and then i start with like the basic knotless braid um under under and i keep going down i get part way and then i will show you guys how i add the lock in Okay, I usually like to go like an inch down and then I'll add the lock just so that the root stays flat. You know, it's a knotless braid. These are knotless locks. Make sure that you add the lock a little further down just so that it stays knotless. Um, when you add it in, you just pull the, um, the hair that you left out on the rightmost end through the loop and then you continue braiding. Now, when I continue braiding, my under braid turns into an over braid. And honestly, your under braid can be still be an under braid. It's just easier for me to switch to an over braid. And I just braid the rest of the way down and the lock has been inserted.
insert it into the clipping hook into the hook and then you latch it closed and you pull it through and that's all you do to insert the wrapping hair and then we wrap and like always you wrap tightly at first because it is knotless it still remains like movable if that makes sense and your hair isn't as stiff as long as you do the knotless method and i go down about an inch and then after that I stop wrapping so tight and I start to add like little humps or little curls and I I do this in all you hear this in all of my videos with you I'm doing locks I do the same technique for a, a majority of my locks it's like the butterfly method that surfaced a while ago still is here but a messier version um, and I don't use the water wave hair because I feel like that's too unnatural it's too pretty per se i don't know if that makes sense but not natural and rough enough for me so the hair i the wrapping hair i use is linked but oh wow is linked below and all i really do is i add texture with my thumb and i will show you guys again how i do that Hair legs are very I'm wrapping. changes to the locks initially you could buy the locks on my site which is 50 locks included but then i realized everybody's head shape is not the same so you can now buy these locks for packs of 12 and this is one pack and in each pack comes 12 locks individual locks and based on the size of your head you can purchase as many i recommend five locks um so you can purchase these on my website these are how they come i know somebody recommended like a lock class but as for right now i'll be selling locks and i will keep you guys informed if i decide i want to do a class